Good morning. I'm Brooks Compton, Mayor of the City of Centerville. Thanks for joining us today on Centerville Business Today. And we are at Dream Dinners mm -hmm. here in Cross Point Center in the City of Centerville. And I'm joined today by two of the four owners of Dream Dinners, Kelly Lovejoy and Lisa Marie Weiss. And thank you for joining us on Centerville Business today. And glad you can tell us a little bit about Dream Dinners. And Lisa, if you might start out, tell us a little bit about how you got involved and your background and your involvement with Dream Dinners. Well, thank you for coming today. Um, I started out about 12 years ago as a customer of Dream Dinners when my children were small. I wanted a way to make dinner time easier and less stressful. And so I came in as a customer and started making meals and loved the process here in the store of assembling the meals and how easy it was at home. And when my kids went to school, I asked Kelly <laughs> if I could come work and started working with her. And um, then after a couple of years, I bought into the business. And so I've been an owner now for four years and love helping families get dinner on the table and bring their families back together. Well, great. And Kelly, you've tell us a little bit about how you became involved in Dream Dinners. Um, I know you've been here a little bit longer. Right, I um, started this, actually the process almost 12 years ago. We opened 11 or 12 years ago, we'll be in June. And um, I just knew that our families needed to come back to the dinner table. I was looking for something to do uh, different. I just felt like there was a real need um, to um, just do, to do that. And that's one of our missions is to um, grow great kids and bring them back to the dinner table. And so um, it's, it's been wonderful. I love it. So a little bit behind the concept of Dream Dinners then, I know is to, to make the dinners available for families to get together and have an economical dinner. How do you how do you go about that process then of deciding what you're going to have, how you do that, and how you get it home to, to, to make the meal for the family? Okay. The whole process is people will go online actually to schedule a session. So we do book by appointment. Um, but what's really nice is I always tell everybody we do your shopping, shopping and cleanup and you have meals that are on the table in about 30 minutes. And so each month we have 17 different meals to choose from. So um, when people come in, they're just going to um, basically assemble the meals that they've chosen. It takes maybe five minutes to put together a meal at the most. Um, and they'll take them home. The cooking instructions will be inside them and they go into the freezer. And then what we usually encourage people to do is pull out at least three for the week. Um, this isn't meant for every night, but usually three or four nights, especially during the week when we're busy, um, instead of going out and doing fast food or eating out, um, this is a great way to, to sit down and take that stress away. Dinner's on the table in like 30 minutes. Well, we do appreciate you locating Thank here. You. And you now, if someone were to want to get involved in Dream Dinners, mm -hmm. Would they go online initially or stop in to see you, or how would they do that? They can do either one. Um, we um, are usually here throughout the week. Um, a lot of people just walk in, and that's one thing that's nice about this plaza. It's a, a pretty busy plaza, uh, so people will come in and find out what we're all about. And, um, and so we have our menus that they can look at and go ahead and schedule, um, or they can just go online to dreamdinners.com, um, choose the Centerville location, and choose the, the meals that they would like to assemble. So what do you do then if, if I wanted to do this, I could contact Dream Dinners mm -hmm. and say I'd like to come in, say 5.30 on a mm -hmm. Tuesday night, but you, you schedule appointments, don't you? We do. We, um, all of our food comes fresh to us each week, so, um, so everybody can be reassured that everything's fresh when they come um, to make their meals, and so based on that, that's why we book by appointment, so that we know what we need and order appropriately that way, so yeah. Okay. Well, Lisa, if somebody then wanted to set up a time would they go about selecting, you have a number of meals available every, every week or every month. Is that how that's set up? And when you go on the website, the first time, there's a box that says try the introductory offer. And if you click on that box, it'll bring up a menu. And then on the left side is a calendar. And you just choose the date that you want to come. It'll show you time choices. You choose the time. And then you select the meal choices that you want. And the introductory offer is a special flat rate price for new guests, or you can do the full menu. And on the website, if you click view menu, it'll be the same thing. It'll pull up a calendar. You just choose the date, and then it shows you all the menu choices. So specifically on, on the website itself, you can pick and say, well, I'd like to come in December the 12th, and I'd like to, to and you have open times then available. Or you'll tell if you're full, right. if that time slot mm -hmm. is filled, then you'll, yeah. but I could stop in at 5.30, and I would select what meals I would like to make and then you have those ingredients all available. 
Right. When you come in, you'll have a sheet that says each meal that you're going to be making has the directions for at home. And um, then we have staff here who will help you through the process, um, walking you through putting the meals together and showing you around the store how to do everything. So if, when you have your scheduled appointment, there's expert chefs in here working with you as a, as a novice around the kitchen that would help you get all the things put together. Well, I wouldn't call us all chefs, but, <laughs> but you know your way around. We the know our way around. And yes, we are. We have plenty of staff here to really help, especially the new people, um, you know, know how, what they're doing and how the process works and putting the meals together. So, yeah. Well, that's a neat concept. It really is. It's a lot of fun. And, and um, it's really fun because um, at our sessions, there will be husband and wives that come together or our children that come with our parents. Um, we do a fun kids in the kitchen um, twice a month where it, it's just craziness, but it's a lot of fun. And we make it special for the kids that come, um, special gifts for them. So we enjoy that, too. Well, you see that kids cooking show on TV. Mm -hmm. uh, my grandkids watch that quite a bit. And so you have a program then for young kids who like to come in and help out around the kitchen. Oh, that's great. Yeah, we just find that if the kids are involved, they're more likely to try more foods instead of just sticking with, you know, the chicken nuggets and the spaghetti and that type of thing. Um, it just really expands their, um, you know, palate. And um, we find that a lot of children then are actually cooking the meals for their families too. So it's like, if I make that meal, I want to cook it. So oh, it gets them real involved at home. Well, that's good. Yeah. Well, Lisa, a couple of other things that I think you have in addition to providing the meals, you have some, I guess, additional things that, that you can get here too that, that you wouldn't make, but you might add to your meal. What, what would some of those things be that you make the, the main course, but then you have other things that you can purchase here also and bring home mm -hmm. as part of it? We do have um, a number of sides, like vegetables and potatoes, a lot of unique offerings there. We also have breakfast items um, that a lot of our guests like to have an easy breakfast at home and really delicious desserts. And we have our um, cranberry pumpkin stack here. So um, kind of fills out the dinner plate, makes a complete meal. Well, when I went on your website, I saw you probably have for a month, it looks like you have everywhere from 15 to 20 different selections for meals mm -hmm. that you can, so if I signed up for the month of December, I would have 15 or 20 choices of, that are available and I could choose from that. Is that right? Helpful? We have 17 different meals each month. So it changes monthly. So that's what's really nice. We have meals um, each month that we've never even had before. So um, we have chefs out in Seattle who create our menus for us. And, um, and so it's really nice because you can never get really tired of eating the same thing all the time. And I think that's what most of our guests say, that they're like, oh, I'm just tired of eating the same thing. Um, this way you get a nice variety, but it's still basic meals that you would really enjoy anyway. Great. And then when, you're, when you've created the meal, mm -hmm. then does it go into essentially a package that you're then able to freeze or store for a period of time then? Yeah, most of the meals will go into Ziploc freezer bags. Your cooking instructions will go down to the item, or we'll have some that are in pans. But what the guests will do is they'll make their months of meals, take them home, put them in the freezer, and then um, pull out what they want. Um, and then, like I said, they cook in about 30 minutes. And you have the instructions right there? The instructions are right there for them. Well, great. Yeah. Well, you have a great location here. I think what we're going to do is we're going to make a meal. We're going to make a meal. So right. look forward to that. So we'll be right back after we get ready to make the meal. Okay. Okay, we're back at Dream Dinners, station number six, <laughs> and here with Kelly. And she's going to lead us through making, I think, uh, chicken tenders with barbecue yeah, sauce. Right. Chip chicken tenders. Okay. Are you ready? We're ready. Okay. Well, what's really nice about this is everything's color-coded. So all of your dry ingredients are on top, refrigerated, frozen, or down inside. So when we're looking at the recipe card, this is a three serving. So our meals come in three or six. We're doing a three serving. So this first step is gonna take the chicken and I'm gonna roll this over. So that way, if you have anything messy, when you go to close up your bag, you won't have a mess in the bag. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna have you take the paprika, which is one gray, which is right there. And you're just gonna put it right inside the chicken. Okay, just one uh -huh. teaspoonful. Yep, one. it's a quarter teaspoon. Okay, and then you've got your granulated garlic, which is one black or a teaspoon. Now our next step is the cayenne pepper. So what's really nice is that if you don't like spicy, you don't need to put it in. But if you want to do a little bit of cayenne pepper, you can put that in there. Uh, definitely, we'll give that a shot. 
Okay, so we are done with that one. So what we're gonna do is just take this and close it up. And the next step, so each step is its own bag, its own set of instructions. So with the next step, we'll take another quart bag. We're gonna roll the edges, like I said, over. And now, oh, we forgot a step here. We're going to, you've got the liquid drop, which means a liquid measuring cup. So you're gonna take the ranch dressing and pour that right inside there. Okay, a quarter cup. Mm -hmm. So just look to the left and you'll see it inside. That goes in here. Mm -hmm. That's definitely refrigerated down there. It is that. refrigerated, yes. Okay. And then what we're going to do is just do um, a barbecue sauce. Okay, about a quarter cup of that then. Uh -huh. Another quarter cup. Okay. okay. So we're done with that one. So we'll close that up and you just put that down. We clean up your messes. So that's what makes it really nice. So. You could tell I was nervous about that. <laughs> So no worry about the messes, okay. So now we have another quart bag here. And then this is going to be the barbecue chip uh, topping. Okay. So, okay. So now you've That's got your scoops chip. up there. So those scoops are your actual measuring cups. So you'll do one pink. Okay, one whole cup of this. Yep. Yep, see, that's why it's good to... Yep, that's why we clean up after you. <laughs> and then we'll do the panko. So it's one orange or a half a cup of that. Okay, and then the paprika. Back to the paprika. Back again. to the paprika. Okay. And these are all pre-measured, and they're all pre-measured. That's what really makes it nice, and um, you know, you kind of feel like you're on a cooking show because everything's already done for you. You're just putting it in there. So if you want to go ahead and close that up, okay. so now what we're going to do, we're going to put this all together. So all these individual bags will go into your final gallon bag. So we've got that sauce, we've got your crunchy stuff, your chicken. We're going to put that in there. And then these are the cooking labels. So this goes right down inside there, close it up. And so when our guests are here, they actually will go to the refrigerator. They'll have their name on the refrigerator. They'll put their meal on the shelf, go to the next station, make the next meal. So they'll just rotate around the room assembling all the meals they've chosen. So we've made three, meal, we've made three servings mm -hmm. in just about four minutes. Okay, yep. So, and we would store that. And then we, when we finished up with the other selections, mm -hmm. then we just, Take right, them and so take them home. We will have somebody that will actually check you out to make sure we didn't miss anything. Um, and we load you up. We have you pull your car up. We'll load up your car for you. So um, we do, it's, it's all about taking away the stress and just having fun. Well, that's great. Sure. And I can tell you it is a lot of fun. Um, and, and to make a meal like that in such a short amount of time, that's terrific. Yeah. And to bring them home for everybody and have everybody for dinner, that's great. Well, Kelly, thank you for joining thank us you. here at Dream Dinners. If you could tell us a little bit about how they could find you and how they could call you and where they could locate to come up here. Well, if you want to call us, our phone number is, of course, 937-312-9930. And then our website is dreamdinners.com. So just go on there. And like Lisa Marie said earlier, check out the menus. Um, it'll have your pricing on there. The introductory is a great way to come. Just try us out and see what you think. Um, yeah. It's been great. Yeah. I've really enjoyed uh, Kelly. Thank you very much. And Lisa Marie also, thanks for your help at, on Centerville Business today. And we appreciate all of you locating, uh, the oh. four owners locating here in the city of Centerville and, and all that you provide. And we've had a lot of fun today. So yep. look forward to. Great. Thanks, Kelly. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> thanks for watching Centerville Business today. We'll look forward to seeing you on the next episode.